That's an interesting realization, isn't it? That space and time should be treated the same. Except because for a minus sign. Except the minus sign. Makes all the difference. It's <laughs> Tell me about the minus sign. Well, there is just this one place in Einstein's equations where there is a minus sign. That's the only way in which time and space enter differently. And nonetheless, the result of that is, of course, that they feel completely different from one another. Space feels like you, something I can go at will wherever I want in, whereas <laughs> time feels, as we know, like a one-way street. And, yeah. I think... Um, we could freely move through time without the minus sign, couldn't we? If there were no minus sign, life as we know it <laughs> would be completely different. And we would probably not feel that things were happening. In fact, you can prove mathematically that there would be no point in having a brain even, because would be, you wouldn't be able to predict things in the way we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the great sentences. That is one of the great sentences, I think. That I've ever heard. What? You can prove mathematically that there would be no point in having a brain. <laughs> we have brains because by measuring and observing what's in one part of space time, we can calculate what's in another part of space time and in our future, and that's useful. So that's We're, looking at what's now, looking at the now. We can predict. We can do the, the next the, now we, and the next. Exactly. Now. Whereas if it weren't for that minus sign, we couldn't do that. It would be kind of like saying, I know what's happening over here, let me try to predict what's happening over at Harvard. It doesn't work. And um, it all has to do with that minus sign. <laughs>